Hey there, everybody. My name is Kedar Moore, and welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're going to continue this series, possibly finish it. I don't exactly know how long we've got left until WCW decides to be bought out or something because they're losing quite a bit amount of, uh, of fans. If we can go into companies right here, they have uh, still over a million fans, but when we bought WWF, they basically had that amount of fans so it's not too much uh to think about the fact that we might get them uh we uh, already annexed two countries and one of them was the biggest one so uh or uh, two uh, i guess not countries but companies so we don't need to worry too much about anything uh the one thing i am worrying about so i already uh, worked on already made sure that um uh, keji muro and whoever that one the other one uh, was that uh, decided to I think it was Medusa that decided that they wanted to be part-timers and made sure to resign them do the resign plus so they uh, they become full-timers again I am going to keep Randy Savage as an Hall of Famer that's for sure and the next thing is Hulk Hogan I need to start worrying about him if he keeps having bad matches I need to do something about it obviously he's not over he's got no overness whatsoever so obviously that doesn't help but still you know, I want to work. I want. I want it to work with him, but uh, it's just not doing it right now. It's just not working. We're gonna continue uh, by doing our first pay per view, of course, and living dangerously. We got a lot of uh, positive effects, no negative effects, so we can just do uh, whatever we want, basically. First match we're gonna do, obviously, it's gonna be for the main WWF uh, or the main title, or is Robin them injured? How is he injured? Oh, does he have the flu? Is that why? He's the guy that has the flu probably. Okay, so bad case of flu. So he can't attend today. I guess the main uh, the main event is going to be Mickey James then, boys. Uh, she already has a feud going on, does she? I think she doesn't actually. So she doesn't have a feud going on. So we're just going to go and do a singles match really quick. Uh, she's a heel, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick whoever's got 100% right now. Uh, Lida's got a hundred percent going on, so it's gonna be Mickey James versus Lida boys for the world title. And we're gonna add a feud between these two, and we're gonna do heel versus heel, super hot, only monster thing, and uh, no gimmicks to it uh, for the first match at all. Medusa, we are gonna do the gimmick match between uh, or the the feud. We're gonna continue the feud between these two. It's uh, this one right here. And it's going to be a singles match as well. So just this one right here, Injury Revenge, singles match. Nothing added to it, it seems like. And the rest, well, it's just up to the AI. So let's see what the AI does with all of this. Uh, I guess, oh, there, there we go. Look at that. So we're going to remove your, all the feuds that the AI did already. So that's all the matches that the AI decided to put today. And there's too many, two remaining wrestlers. So Kel Kim and Beth Phoenix are the added addition. We're just going to put that in between right here. And I guess uh, this one, since it's an added one, we're just going to do uh, the next step, which was, I think we already did still sell. So I think a ladder match. We can't do that because it's not a championship match. So just a still cage, just a simple still cage. And the rest is just basically normalized, boys. It literally is normalized. So we're just going to do production and uh, main event package. Just like that, like always, we're going to keep doing the same things over and over. So main event package for the world title. Uh, we got a brand new feud going on, I believe, right? So let's uh, let's see real quick. So brand new feud going on between um, Trish and Beth. Actually, it's not a new one. No, we don't. We can't do a feud package. I'm pretty sure. So uh, what else could we do then? I think what we can do then is definitely do just a simple event package. We can do that for the next event, boost it up. And uh, we can do repeatable. So we can do a backstage interview and we're going to do that. Uh, do a backstage interview with, uh, I guess, Mickey James. Whoever's the least popular or who's got the least amount of overness. It is El Kogan. So, yeah, I'm going to boost him up a little bit by giving him a backstage interview before his match. Uh, wherever he is, I, I got to figure it out. He's right there. All right. So before his match, he's going to get a backstage interview and that's, uh, should be able to help him out. All right. So let's start the first pay-per-view up, uh, living dangerously. 
uh, let's do it boys boom just like that and uh, so what do the fans want they want 70% Mickey James 30% Lita for the world title that's an interesting one uh, we they want Trish Stratus to win the title so win the television championship remember uh, she only is defending the, the world television championship match right now and that's about it the rest we don't need to look at it so 70% Mickey James and they want Trish Stratus to win so that sounds uh, fine by me I was also pushing Ultimate Warrior I gotta remember that so 100% effectiveness for the next pay-per-view good uh, we got the first match Gail Kim versus Beth Phoenix Let's get the win to get, uh, Beth Phoenix, boys. She's got the least amount of overness. Boom, just like that. We got some blood in the match as well. But that's still a cage match. Beth Phoenix bled, but Gail Kim is the one who got injured somehow. And Beth Phoenix as well got the uh, work rate increased. Uh, level 3 in, uh, now, so even better for her. Uh, we are pushing Ultimate Warrior for the last months of his push. So let's just give him the win once again. Let's throw in the towel. Give him the win. That's going to be a decent match, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess a decent match. Right below four stars. It's going to be good enough, I guess. So just like that. Triple H versus Goldberg. Goldberg's going to get the win. Uh, pretty much a throw away match right here. Well, I think one of them is a dull worker. So you got to think at is, uh, of it as... Dull worker being a minus one star for work rate. So um, I guess now it's a one star versus a two star. I don't think Triple H is going to be good enough to elevate uh, the wrestling skills of Goldberg. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes, I guess. Uh, we'll give the win to Goldberg right here. There we go. But just below four star. I think when it's not like it's not high enough to elevate it think I should just do literally a squash match or anything just to uh, uh, might as well just to up uh, up him up while we're at it uh, next up backstage interview for all Kogan 100% effectiveness just giving a little bit more overness he definitely needs it right now like popularity and overness and uh, he's obviously gonna get the win as well now that's uh, one star this is what I'm talking about boys I should probably right here give uh, a squash match a squash finish or something like that right i should probably do that it's rough I, I i don't know if i should do that or anything i'm not gonna add anything i'm just gonna give him the win straight up but see he's not having good matches he's not having good matches i keep giving him the win i'm gonna have to get rid of all kogan boys it's that simple he's just a bad wrestler all around uh ricky steamboat versus roddy piper we're going to get the win to uh, Ricky Steamboat. Lively start. Really good. Five-star match. That's going to help our pay-per-view up. Uh, next up, Terry Funk, Matt Hardy, Tajiri, and Just Incredible. Whoever's got the least amount. It's always Just Incredible that got the least amount, boys. All right. Well, uh, Just Incredible, you get the win once again. He's at three wins in a row now. Uh, and, uh, even that... These guys keep facing each other, it seems like, but uh, one of them must be pretty bad or something. I don't know. No, they're all pretty decent wrestlers. I, I just don't know why why it's not connecting, I guess, because it always ends up being like below four stars. I don't know why. Uh, I uh, The hype, x Pac versus Keiji Mudo, it's always the same ones. Always the same ones. Well... I'm just going to end up giving the win to X-Pac right here. I'm going to have to uh, give the win to X-Pac once again. Four-star match. All right. So better match than most of the other ones. We're not having a good pay-per-view right now. I think I'm just going to end up doing a lot of multi-man matches right here because it's just not working out. It really isn't wor uh, working out right now. So let's just see Medusa versus Trish Stratus. They wanted um, Trish Stratus to win the title right here. So I guess we'll give her the win. Uh, Medusa is going to be champ for two months, but not anymore. Not the television champ, at least. Let's just uh, throw in the towel. And Trish Stratus wins the match. So throwing the towel is already held as a finish. Oh, yeah, because I held it earlier. Uh, that's right. 
I forgot about that. But it's fine, I guess. It's fine. It bring down the match rating. It could have been a really good match, but I guess it's fine. There was some blood into it as well in the face of Medusa. Trish Rogers is a new television champ. And uh, next up, all of this right here. A really big multi-man match. I'm going to give the win to Kurt Angle. He's the one with the least amount of overness. So Kurt Angle gets the win. Really good match. Like uh, five and a uh, star match. Almost a six star match. And everybody goes up in terms of everything. So that's really good. Everybody gains from that match, boys. So Kurt Angle, huge boost for him. Main event package, 95, 90%. And last but not least, the World Championship, the main event itself. Lita versus Mickey James. Uh, we're just going to give Mickey James the win. I believe they wanted uh, uh, Mickey James at 70% to win. So we'll give her that. And uh, we'll do the screw job finish because it's the first time they're facing against each other for a feud. Screw job finish. Boom, there we go. Really good match. Five and a half star match, boys, for f to start it off between these two and to finish the, uh, the pay per view. So that's uh, really good. So I'm always having, and it, I always end up having good, ma great matches at the end, towards the end. It's uh, because of uh, ongoing feuds and titles. But the first matches, I'm starting to struggle more and more. I don't know why. I guess uh, really having bad wrestlers all across, it's not really uh, working out for me. Brock Lesnar uh, is recovering faster. And Gil Kim uh, is, uh, suffered an injury. So she's injured now. And the gimmick went down for Scott Hall and Edge uh, as well. Not good. And aside from that, obviously, we've already seen it. But Beth Phoenix, as our work rate went up. Just below five, 500k uh, fans showing up. Only 75k fans for the pay-per-view of WCW. So they're not doing good. They're not doing good at all right now. They're, they keep losing a lot of fans. It's only a matter of time, boys, before I can buy them out. Larry Zabisco, Eddie, uh, Ed Leslie, and Randy Savage retired, okay? And uh, obviously, we got all the other things. So Jazz is in the roster now. She's available. Uh, we got, uh, we didn't manage to uh, reassure Ric Flair. Injury rehab. So Brock Lesnar is going to be back in uh, one month. So that's good. Good show, goal reward, whatever. Skill increase for Beth Phoenix, and uh, she's injured for two months. Uh, Gal Kim, that is. We still have one month left of work rate training for Ultimate Warrior. Uh, we got to look into who's got the least amount of morale right now. It seems to be CM Punk, so we're going to work on his morale. All right, so it's done, boys. I already uh, worked on it. I reass I'm reassuring him. Gal Kim's going to be back in two months, and Brock Lesnar is going to be back in one month. So everybody's coming back. I'm going to be able to do a return gimmick for her as well. So that's good. So uh, now we got all of that. Uh, next up, what do we want to do? Not entirely uh, sure. I guess I'm just going to be pushing uh, Jazz, right? She's the new one I'm going to be pushing. A lot of minus effects right here. So we got to watch out. But let's go into booking right here for the next pay-per-view. Barely legal now. Oh, before we start the pay-per-view, boys... Uh, I'm actually going to release uh, Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan. I'm, uh, I'm going to release them both because they're bad wrestlers. They're both bad wrestlers. And it's a shame too. But I got to do it. I got to release them. And I have no use really for Jimmy Hart anymore. But I, I do want to keep him because he's a great manager. So we'll keep him. We'll, uh, give him a, we'll get him to manage somebody else. And uh, same thing for... I guess Warrior, we just got to look for him. I was pushing him as well, but, you know, uh, there's only so much right there. These guys are just not good wrestlers overall. Uh, managed to get some good matches out of Goldberg, so that's why I'm keeping him. But aside from that, you know, I couldn't do uh, too much. So I had a relationship between Jimmy Art and who else? So who do we want Jimmy Art to manage, boys? I'm not entirely sure. I think he could probably manage a about anybody. So I'm going to give him um, Jazz. I'm going to give him to Jazz. So where, where she is? So we're going to add him to Jazz. So she's gonna, he's going to be a manager to Jazz right here. That's, gonna, that's how it's going to work out. Now we can go to the actual pay-per-view and work these things out, boys. All right, boys. So these are going to be the match for the second pay-per-view of the day. Uh, we've got 
a lot of stuff obviously going on as well so uh like i don't know how many matches we've got but uh we got plenty we got chris benoit versus rob van dam starting in a feud between these two uh kurt Angle versus triple h as well you can see the ai likes to always get the get the same matches over and over again lita versus mickey james uh continuing that flu feud up between these two boys um, World Television Championship, we can skip that one, uh, basically we already know what it is, but World Television Championship match. Uh, Trish Stratus defending our new title against Beth Phoenix. Uh, I, I did not want to do the whole Trish Stratus and Mickey James thing again. I wanted to skip it uh, as much as possible right now. I want to actually try and give the title to Beth Phoenix or something, even though the, one, the fans might not want that. I need to do that right now because this is getting ridiculous. I, I actually don't like the fact of having a double champ for too long. It was fun while it lasted for that one month, but I can't be having that. Uh, Jazz is going to make her actual debut versus Medusa in the women's championship match. And Medusa is going to lose the title, boys. And uh, Jazz is definitely going to get the new title. So we're just going to go in right away. We're going to do the main event package as we usually do right here. going to put it right here. We're going to do uh, a feud package. Let me see really quick. Feud package for a brand, uh, one of a brand new feud. So this one right here is brand new feud. Let's do it. Uh, this is uh, only monster. So let's go put it right there. And last but not least, we're going to do a debut package for Jazz. So we're going to uh, hype her up via a debut package, boys. So let's do that uh, right uh, there. So... We're just going to do that. We're going to start it up right away. Not going to waste any time, boys. You can, so, uh, you can see I'm going faster and faster with this uh, series. Um, making sure that I can do as many pay-per-views or as many stuff as possible in between the video. So we've got Rob Van Dam. The fans want Rob Van Dam to retain once again. They really like him as the champ. He's definitely our fa the face of our company for sure. Uh, they want Mickey James to retain as well. Trish Stratus to retain and Medusa to retain. So they want every single champion, ongoing champion right now to retain their title, which is uh, fine by me. So uh, first match, six way elimination match. Uh, we are pushing uh, Jazz, so we don't care about any of these guys. We're just going to give the win to uh, whoever deserves it the most, I guess, uh, who's got the least amount of overness. Seems like it's in between just incredible or Terry Funk. I'm always giving the win to uh, credible. Let's give the win to Terry Funk this time around. Plus 80 ends up pretty, a pretty decent match overall, uh, as you can see. So pretty decent for a five star match and stuff like that. So, well, almost a five star uh, work rate increase for edge, which is fantastic. So level three for edge. Now he's a great wrestler, uh, 10 way street match boys so that's a very interesting one between all of them there's a lot of wrestlers in there whoever's got the least amount of overness as always seems to be goldberg right now it seems like it's going to be goldberg so he's going to get the win boys that's uh actually super crazy right now so give him the win boom goldberg gets a huge w from that as well really gets a huge w and uh that's gonna hopefully up it up it only ups him up by nine Ooh, and by f plus five of overness i don't know what else to do about them i mean he's a dull worker as well but it's helping him out every time he's actually wrestling against uh, uh good wrestlers and stuff so across the boards i guess it's a pretty good pay-per-view across the board or a pretty good match edges uh gimmick went up as well a debut package for Jaws, upping up a little bit. And she's got Jimmy Hart on our side. We can't, we'd have to remember that as well. And uh, now it's time for her to actually defeat in her first match, Medusa, boys. So she's going to do that. We're going to do uh, throw in the towel and give Jazz the win. Boom. Just like that. Throw in the towel and uh, get a pretty decent performance out of these two. Four and a half star match. Jazz is the new champ. And she's uh, wins her, tie, her first match, boys, just like that. She's going to get over in no time because of that. Next up, Sting versus Mr. Perfect. Both are 100%. So whoever wins, I don't really care too much. 
I'll just uh, simulate, I guess, because I don't care who wins. It's a Mr. Perfect who wins, and it's uh, almost a five-star match, so pretty decent. We've got a World Television Championship match. Obviously, Trish defending her title versus Beth Phoenix. We've got... Uh, so, we, they, they, want, they wanted everybody to retain their title. That's right. So, Trish is going to retain her title right here. We already did the screw job, I believe, right? Or did we? I, I don't remember if we did or not. So, let's just do straight up finish. There we go. Pretty, a really good match. Five and a half star match. Trish Stratus retains. She's going to be uh, champ for a little bit a while longer. Uh, really good. Next up, once again, these two fighting against each other. I'm starting to get pretty bored about this match uh, right here. Uh, what I'm going to end up doing right here. Well, I don't want to do that because it's going to it's going to end up hurting my uh, the whole thing up. But I feel like I should just give the win to Keji Muto. Let's give the win to Keji Muto this time around. There we go. We're giving him the win this time around. And that's good enough for a four and a half star match. I mean, these guys are just, they keep facing against each other. They're just not connecting. Don't know why the AI keeps wanting to put them to, uh, against each other. We got 90% effectiveness for the feud package. Good. And we got the actual world championship match right there between these two. Mickey James versus Lita. They wanted Mickey James to retain if I'm, not, if I'm correct. So let's give her, give her a straight up the win. Good enough for a flawless match. Five-star match right there. Really good. Uh, she gained some popularity out of that. And a little bit of overness. So good enough. Next up, Triple H versus Kurt Angle for the millionth time as well. And Kurt Angle is just a better wrestler. I'm going to give the win to whoever is the best wrestler right here. So uh, Kurt Angle was the best wrestler. Give him the win. And that's uh, plenty of intensity. So really good match overall. Helps both of these guys out. And uh, look at that. So it ends up being a four, five and a half star match. Fantastic, boys. Exactly what I want to see. Main event package. Really good. 90% 90 effectiveness. Last but not least, the main event itself. Rob Van Dam needs to retain his title. Is the start of a feud. So we can do a screw job finish. Rob Van Dam retains. And a really good ending. Another five and a half star match to finish it off, boys. So Robin M is now going to be a champ for eight months straight up. Really good. I think it's the longest title reign we've, uh, we're going to get at all so far. So a uh, really long title reign for Rob Van Dam. That's a really good to see. I'm happy for him, I guess. He's having the time of his life. The fans want him to keep the title over and over again. A just below five star uh, for the pay-per-view. And uh, aside from that, nothing else. So we can keep it going. So we got 600k fans just over it. We gained 100k more and uh, WCW keeps losing fans. They uh, lost about 100k. Uh, Ultimate Warrior says, of course, uh, we released Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior right here. We released both of them. Uh, had no use for them. They were pretty garbage overall. Brock Lesnar is back from injury. CM Punk, uh, we managed to reassure him. We got Maria Canilis available, Rebecca, Chuck Taylor, and that's about it. Brock Lesnar is back, gimmick change, skill increase for Edge, really good. And uh, we're done we're, uh, working on the work rate as well. So we can work on somebody else now, I, I guess, for the work rate. So who needs the most amount of work rate right now? It's X-Pac, I guess. They're saying that X-Pac is the one that needs the, the most work. So we're going to give, uh, I guess we're going to work on him. And what about morale? All right, so it's done, boys. I've uh, put already, re I'm reassuring Medusa and I'm working on the work rate for uh, X-Pac. So that is done. We can up on into Artcore Evan right away. We got seven effect events, uh, all of these. So no minus effects. So we don't need to worry about anything at all. Let me set up the matches and I'll see you once it's done. All right, so here's the matches, boys, for the pay-per-view. It's going to be Chris Benoit versus Rob Van Dam, continuing the feud on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, scale. X-Pac versus Keji Muto once again. So the even, and I did something different this time. I, went, I didn't even go for quality. I went for Bizarro and, uh, and still uh, managed to do X-Pac versus Keji Muto. I don't know why they are doing that. I could have literally do a feud by now between these two because 
This is really ridiculous. They keep facing against each other. Uh, we've got Lita versus Mickey James uh, on a one-on-one -on -one scale. We're going to blow it off, blow that feud off in an explosive barbed wire match. Kurt Angle, Triple H. Beth Phoenix versus uh, Trish Stratus. We're blowing out that match as well, casket match. Ric Flair and El Generico in an Iron Man match. Um, women's Championship match, Jazz defending her title versus Medusa in a 1v1 in an LMS match. Brock Lesnar versus Stone Cold. Stadium Punk versus Edge. Mr. Perfect versus Jake Roberts. Jeff Hardy versus Eddie Guerrero. And the rest is just an eight man match for the rest of the people that were in there. False count anywhere. Let's go for this segments. Uh, let's go for the main event package like usual right here. Let's keep it going, boys. Let's put it right there. Next up, we have a brand new feud. We do. So let's just do feud package once again. So feud package for Medusa versus Jazz. Let's up that feud up a little bit. So yeah, let's uh, up that feud up a little bit. And uh, next one, what do we want to do? Do we want to reveal manager? Nope. Manager promo could be good or well, you know what? Uh, let's do a manager promo. Let's do a manager promo. I'm gonna do I guess uh, Jimmy art. Let's do a manager promo for Jimmy art. He's gonna upgrade. That's gonna upgrade uh, jazz uh, Performance right here. That's only better for her. So let's do that. Let's do a manager promo right there and let's jump on in that's all we got to do we can only do three uh, three stuff so uh, that's fine by me hardcore heaven really good i like to i like the way it's done as well right here so let's jump on in let's see what the fans want they want chris benoit to win the title mickey james has 60 percent to win and 40 percent uh lead out to win that's interesting trish radis to retain and the last one they want Jazz to retain. All right, that's about it. So uh, Trish Stratus and Jazz retaining, Mickey James and Chris Benoit. I got to remember that. All right, next up. So nine way false count anywhere match to start it up. Uh, who do we want to win? We are working. Now I'm going to give the win to the ones that have the most work rates without the overness. So uh, right now, what have you seen? Some that are pretty good. We've got three stars for both of them. So Matt Hardy, Tajiri are eligible, but uh, we got to go uh, for these uh, guys. So I guess Ricky Steamboat is Sting as well have three stars if you don't, go, uh, don't count the overness. Uh, I'm going to go for the one that's the least amount of overness between the three stars. So I'm going to go for Matt Hardy. He's going to get uh, a little bit of a huge win right there. There you go. Big time win for Matt Hardy. Huge boost from that. Uh, 70 uh, percent of morale poor uh, popular change 80 and one percent of overness only but uh still still pretty good boys so that's going to help him out it helps everybody else out as well uh jeff Hardy versus uh, eddie guerrero uh they both have three stars the ones that the least over is eddie so let's give the win to eddie it's a four uh good enough for a four and a half star match both of them have bonus effects from that so that's good Scott Hall's gimmick went up. Okay, good. Next up, Mr. Perfect versus Jake Roberts. We've got, uh, well, they both, actually, Jake Roberts is a two star, and Kurt Enning is a three star. So Kurt Enning get, is going to get the win. Four and a half star. There we go. We're getting better matches if I do that, if I give the win to the one that's the most talented uh, wrestler. CM Punk versus Edge. We're blowing out that feud, I believe. They're both three stars, and uh, but uh, CM Punk is just better overall. So let's give the win to CM Punk. It's good enough for uh, a four and a half star match. And it's actually, it wasn't a feud. So I don't know why I said that. Brock Lesnar versus Stone Cold. Both three stars, but Stone Cold is a bit more, has a bit more charisma. So let's give the win to Stone Cold right here. And there it is. So Stone Cold gets the win. We've got a uh, five-star finish, so really good finish for that one. We're having some good matches here. That's really good. Feud package for Jazz versus Medusa, 95%. Manager promo for Jimmy Art wearing his new suit. There we go, 100% effectiveness. Comes back to the old suit for that one, though. 
Uh, so Jazz for, uh, versus Medusa. We're obviously pushing Jazz. So let's give her the win. We did a uh, screw job last time, I believe. So we can't do it again. Uh, no, I think we did throw in the towel. Now we can do a uh, screw job this time around. Yeah, let her go. Good job. And it, uh, it's actually so much of a good uh, match that also almost gets a six star. So really good for us. Crowd interest and screw job finish. Both of them go, uh, go up in terms of... Uh, stats and everything so really good plus 10 overness for um jazz as well i like to see that i like to see that quite a lot 12 match effect bonus because uh it's uh, an ironman match rick flair versus el generico both have three stars so uh, whichever one uh, of them wins i don't really care let's simulate el generico wins and ends up being a five and a half star match so Really good overall, really good match. Uh, we're having flawless matches across the board right here. This pay-per-view is going to be a fantastic one. World Television Championship match. Trish Rogers versus Beth Phoenix. Both are three stars, so I'll give the win. Well, uh, we got to follow what the fans wanted. They wanted Trish Stratus to retain uh, right here. So uh, she's got to retain. Boom, just like that. She does. It's a blow off to the uh, to the the feud itself. Ends up being another five and a half star match. Good. So uh, she's been champ for three months now. Good for Trish Stratus, boys. Tri Triple H versus Kurt Angle. Uh, let's uh, give the win to Kurt Angle. He's more talented. So boom, he gets the win once again, and uh, pretty good finish overall for these two. Four and a half star. World Championship match. They wanted Mickey James. At 60% to win, 40% of them wanted Lita. So it's a pretty tight one uh, right there. So since the fans don't know what they want exactly, uh, we got to go by the uh, the work rate. But both of them have three stars of work rate. So uh, I'm just going to let Fate decide whether uh, Jimmy Key James uh, keeps the title or not. And she doesn't. So Lita is the new champ, boys. After four months as champ, Mickey James drops the title to Lita. Lita's the new world champ. And that's good enough for five uh, or that's good enough for a six and a half star match. So the best one of today. Really good. Next up, X Pac versus Keji Mudo for their hundreds of times. Uh, they're both two stars, so I'm just gonna simulate. I don't care who wins. X Pac wins. Good enough. Four and a half star match, boys. So uh, that, that's that, I guess. Next up, main event package. So 100% uh, effectiveness, like always, that's really good. And last but not least, Rob Van Dam versus Chris Benoit. Uh, they did want Chris Benoit to win the titles. Rob Van Dam is finally going to get dethroned. Uh, the fans had enough of his title reign, I guess. He's been champ for eight months, boys. I believe that is the longest reign title reign that we've got overall uh, but now it's time for him to go drop the title so Chris Benoit is the lucky one who gets the W uh, we are gonna do well we could do ring collapse but the title wouldn't change hands so we need the title to well actually they said Chris Benoit needed to win but they didn't say that the title needed to change hands let's screw it up a little bit let's get do it so that Rob Van Dam retains his title but it's a ring collapse, so basically Chris Benoit wins the match. So let's do that. There we go. So Chris Benoit uh, wins the match. So he wins versus uh, Rob Van Dam, who hasn't lost in six matches. He had six match uh, wins in a row, right? So he hasn't won. He hasn't lost in six matches, but he's still the champ so he's going to be champ for nine nine months because ring collapse is not a, you can't lose the title via ring collapse so still a really good match fans got what they wanted they wanted chris benoit to win he got the win but he didn't get the title so that's a nice way of uh cheesing it up a little bit so rob and M keeps the title boys and that's gonna be good for a five-star pay-per-view Fantastic. Everybody's getting super over right now. A lot of uh, bonuses and stuff. So nothing else to say about it. Let's see. Lida crown champion. Nothing too much. Plus 100k fans. Over 800k attendancy. So that's a huge pay-per-view for us. 
another one of those pay bad pay-per-views for uh, WCW uh, below uh, 100k so uh, that's really good for us Gail Kim is ready to return so she's back from injury reassure success, uh, success from Medusa John Maxey which is basically the, um, Dean Ambrose he's available and Gail Kim's available as well all right so CD showdown is going to be our next pay-per-view we're going to stop it right here boys before we stop it uh, we are going to go into indies and look for a new wrestler for the next month right here. So let's see real quick. Who do you want to bring in? I'm not going to bring in a women's wrestler. I'm just going to look for just a normal one. All right, so we're going to go for Sheamus. I'm actually going to take Sheamus, boys. Decent wrestler. He's two stars for both of the categories. So really good. He's a natural heel, so we're going to have to put him as a heel. But aside from that, I mean, he's a really good one. So... Could be a great addition to the roster and everything. I forgot to look, but uh, yeah, she's just a face right now. I kind of want to put her as uh, alignment, put her as neutral. I'm going to start doing that now. If uh, they don't have a, spe a specific thing, well, if it's not, not uh, if they don't have natural baby face or natural heel, I'm just going to put them as neutral. It's better off for me right that way. So we are going to, we are basically good right here. I'm going to end it. For today, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.